Hi everybody, welcome to August's online card class. Thank you so much for purchasing the kit or the PDF, or if you've got it for three, thank you so much for your order. I'm gonna start out quite gently with card number one, and I'm gonna do some really simple stamping on a die cut, which is a great way to use the images from this stamp set. So you'll need a few select pieces from your kit um, or to cut already to size. So you've got your card base, which is Pretty Peacock card. And it is a book fold, but obviously it's a landscape one. So it opens like that. In your kit, you will have an embossed piece of the designer series paper. It's been embossed with the basket weave embossing fold. It's a 3D one um, and it's a really, really nice one. What I like about this embossing folder, when you emboss the DSP, it breaks some of the um, the paper so you can actually see the white coming through and I quite like that effect. So that's going to get stuck down onto your card front. Feel free to use the other side of course. Lovely. Then you can put that to one side and we need to do a little bit of stamping. Now I have kept in with the theme of the DSP and the sweet. I've used the same colours. So we're going to be stamping with crumb cake, misty moonlight and pretty peacock. So those three colours are what we're going to stamp with. And you're going to need the three main sort of leaf oh you can't, can't see that because of my light above me leaf images so let's put those up there and I always like to start with the biggest image so the biggest image is the I would say call that a pampas so bring in your die cut and load up your stamp and I'm stamping off this so that my stems of my pampas come off the bottom of my die cut so I'm going to stamp one and then without inking again, I'm going to stamp another one just in this corner. Okay. Take the next one and again, I'm going to start, I'm going to use the next largest image next. This one is going to be stamped with Pretty Peacock. So give that a good inking. And that's going to go in there. Again, don't re-ink your stamp but pop another one in it's a great way to get different tones of the same color and then lastly we have misty moonlight okay so let's pop this one in here and then no re-inking and that one's going over there so that is my die cut that's got my lovely stamping on it so i can bring in my card now and that's going to get stuck down and I'm actually going to put that down with some dimensionals just to give that a little bit of depth on the card okay turn it round make sure it's nice and straight and then stick that on okay so that's looking quite nice I have a strip of grey granite card this measures one and a half centimeters wide and the length doesn't really matter you just need to make it make sure it's as long as your stamp and I'm going to stamp now in basic grey I know it's grey granite but basic grey just looks really nice line it up so it's straight hopefully and stamp that down okay just use your scissors to trim that ever so slightly I am going to keep it straight And then I'll stick that down about there. Perfect. And then all I need to bring it together is a couple of gems. There is a little bit of detail on side, inside. And I'll show you how I've done that in a moment. So I'm just using one large glue dot. Not glue dot. Gem and one smaller one. And these are the rustic metallic adhesive back dots they're really handy been around for a little while but i love them 
So if we open up the inside of our card, we've got a little bit of stamping detail. So you take your inner card piece and we're just going to do a little bit of random stamping. So I'm sticking with the same colours. I've got my Pampas there. I want my pretty peacock next for this big one. And then lastly, we want the Miss Moonlight. Perfect. And then that just gets stuck down inside. And there we have it. That is card number one all finished. Do let me know what you think in the comments. Feel free to change your sentiment as well um, to birthday. And I've got a bit of stamping inside. So that's it for card number one. I will see you all over on card number two next. Bye for now. Thank you.